everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a pretty good day. I didn't spend it outside. I was home with Kyle. He had virtual school today or mm -hmm. distant learning is what distant they call learning. it. I guess they call it distant learning. And I walked on the treadmill because I've been walking the two miles to the cheese. Well, I walk a mile to the cheese house and back, which is two miles. So today I only walked a mile on the treadmill. And while I watched videos, I walked. It's not as much fun walking on the treadmill. In fact, it took me, I think, longer to walk the treadmill than it does to walk when I'm walking and watching the scenery. At least it feels like it, whether it is or not. Well, I have a little video to put in today. Diane Thurlman, she asked me if I'd make the radish greens with the eggs. So if I you'd film it when you made it. Right. And so I did I did that. So you're gonna we're gonna go to that little video and you can watch me make the radish greens with the eggs. Yesterday I showed you the greens. I cut the bottoms off the greens and I'm going to put some water in this bag so that I can rinse them off again. They were rinsed once, but we're going to do them again, just because we can. Now, if you had a salad spinner, would you put it in that, too? No, because they're going to go in water. Ah, you're going to boil them. I'm going to put them, well, I'm not, if, you, yeah. if they're bitter, you would put them in a lot of water. If they're not too bitter, you don't have to put them in a lot of water. I'm going to eat everything. You could cut these this part off if you wanted to, but I'm going to eat it. I like everything, so to me it's tasty. And it's got a little prickiness to it, so you might notice that too. Some lettuces have a prickiness to it. I don't know if you've ever had them or not. You know what I learned in one of the podcasts I listened to? What? Plants that are very bitter are actually a little better for you because they're more natural. Mm -hmm. That bitterness is their natural uh, defense defense to survive. It's like, it's like the end of lines are really are, um, bitter. Yes. I'm and some just... mustard greens, some lettuces. Well, I like the sweet mustard greens if I want to eat mustard greens. The... There's two kinds. There's of the wild anyways. Yep. Now, you could have taken the stems out, too, if you wanted to, but I didn't do that either. If you wanted just the leaves, you could have just the leaves. I don't mind. Then you just cover it with water. And the more water you have, the less bitter it is. This will melt. When this comes to a boil, it will melt down. The, the greens will get wilted. You can put this in a regular kettle with water that's already boiling, if you like. You can do it however you like to do it. Okay. Now the greens are boiling. I'm going to let them boil for about five minutes. And then I will take off the liquid and let them fry up a little bit. And then I will add the eggs. Because salt is something you need in foods when you're cooking them, it's better to put it in when they're cooking. I'm putting about a half a teaspoon of salt in the greens and let them finish cooking with it and it'll help them flavor up. And you wanna cook, if you left the stems and you want the stems to be tender, if you didn't leave the stems in, then the greens are done within five minutes. But I think the, because I left the stumps in, I've gotta go a little longer. So you just test it with a fork is what I did. I just I just took the fork and test and if it goes in like it's going in pretty good it's almost there. I want it just a little softer. I like things a little crunchier. I like things a little softer. It'll have a little crunch to it but it won't be softer. The little bit of liquid that's here I'm going to drain it out. You can use a strainer if you want. I'm just going to I'm just going to do it my way. My way. Oops, lost a piece. It'll dry up a little more, but I'm gonna put a little bacon grease in there because I like bacon grease. And if you recall, we save our bacon grease 
Look at that yummy, delicious stuff. You can use coconut oil if you like to, but I, because I have bacon grease, I'm going to use bacon grease. Adds a lot of good flavor, too. My kids tell me that my eggs are the best, and the reason that my eggs are the best is I've had a lot of experience. They don't realize they're getting bacon grease on it. Not that they care. No, they don't care. But it, they they tell me that it's really good. It's because I'm I'm experienced. And I use the old kind of ball cannon jars, the ones with the wire, to store mine in. You used to have a rubber, but you don't need it for. Well, not for this. Really I'm not canning. It. If I was canning, I'd need the rubber. And we'll just let this kind of sizzle a little in the bacon grease. It'll be so good. Smells good already. I should turn the fan on after, well, turn it after a minute because my smoke detector will go off. Now I'm going to beat up the eggs. And because I don't wash my eggs, I have to wash them off before I use them. And always break it not on the dish because you don't want shell in the dish. been raining. Okay. That's all you have to do. If they're real dirty, you just wash them off and pop it in your bowl. Did you ever tell about the trick for how to clean them without clean washing them? Clean what? The eggs without washing them? What? My? Your... Oh, no, I never did. Like if you have... I want to dry my hands off because I don't want to get them wet. If you have, say you just brought your eggs out of the chicken coop and they're a little bit dirty and you want to clean them off, you use this, this wire thing and you just rub it like this and this way you leave the bloom still on but you're taking the dust and the dirt or whatever might be on the egg off. And grass, like there's a little grass on that one. Oops, I'm taking off the, the date. Just got to be careful of that. Well. It would be before I dated it. Yep. Then I just rinsed the... A lot of people will bake their shells. I don't bake them. I just rinse them off with hot water. Then I put the shells in here and let them dry up. And when they're dried up, then I will grind them up and they'll be like nice, fluffy calcium for my chickens. As you can see, I've got it a little bit brown. I like it brown like that. It's like cooking spinach. So I can beat my eggs. I'll put, and you want some salt in the eggs too. Salt as you go. Or don't salt if you don't want salt. I like salt on my stuff. If you don't eat a lot of processed foods, your body needs that salt because you're not getting it. Not too slow, but slow. And I'll show you how I turn it over when I'm ready. While I was waiting for it to cook up, I was kind of crocheting and forgetting things. So, we'll see what it looks like. I put a dish on there and then I flip it over. Oh, it looks good. Looks Just good. The same. Mm. Then I slide it back. Oops, it's hot. And I slide it. Well, I do slide it, usually. Yeah, there we go. Slide. Usually it does. 
you might slide off. And then just stick it on this other side for a few minutes. If I turn the thing on, it's going to set my thing off. Okay, and if you wanted to, if you like your eggs with cheese, you could have put cheese on there. If you like it like it is, then that's how you would have it. Then what I do is, because this is for Jim and me, for both of us, I just cut down the middle. You hope I'm in the middle. Sometimes I'm not. I'm think one side's a little bigger. Yeah, close so enough. I, close enough. I'll give him the bigger side. And then I cut it this direction. Because it's only the two of us. If there was more of us, you would cut it like a pizza. A lot more pieces. But because I'm... It's just Jim and I. And if you put it on the cutting board, you it's could a actually easier. use a pizza cutter. Yeah, it's a lot easier to cut it. But it is easier to cut even with a spatula. Okay. And there we are. Don't want to leave any crumbs. No. no. Now, it's, now for the true, true um. Whatever. Now to see whether it's worth making or not, I will cut it and tell you. And I'll tell you what I think it tastes like. Now you can leave the stumps out. I like them in. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had mustard greens, that's what it tastes like to me. Mustard greens. They are kind of in the same family, I believe. I don't know, but they taste like mustard greens to me. It's really good. You want to try it? I'll take you trying it. <laughs> I'll you will, take huh? another one. Uh-huh. Mmm. This is good. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. <laughs> but I don't look as good as <laughs> Did you think? Give her a little try. Give it a nice little cut. Okay. Oh, he blew on his. I didn't blow on it. It wasn't hot. Mm. That hot. It's not hot, hot. Mm -mm. It's tasty. Very tasty. Should I make it again? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. we got a lot of radishes <laughs> out there. Okay, I'll We've make it again. We've got quite a few. We can always plant more. Sure. Well, Diane, that was our supper tonight. We actually had that for for supper. I'm not hungry for anything else. I don't know if Jim is or not. I might have something bad, though. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no. I usually do. I have a few M&Ms with some peanuts mm -hmm. is what I like. I like those. Or your Reese cup and peanuts. Well, I haven't had the Reese cups in a while. I've got them in the freezer. I keep them in the freezer. That way they stay nice. The M&Ms I have off to the side. Well, I hope you all had a great day. And no, there's no chicks yet. Emma hasn't had her chicks yet. And I don't know if... I'm hoping that they hatch. She's got five eggs, so they should hatch. I did miscalculate the date. It should have been today or tomorrow that she hatches them. So let's hope she has some luck. Otherwise, she's one of those birds that will sit till the death. And so I'll have to put some more eggs under her if, she's, if she doesn't have any luck. And she'll just sit again for another 21 days. Oh, my stars. Mm -hmm. She's such a determined little hen. Okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.